Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1248. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1247 to 1248 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1246 and 1247, we were adding and counting with case sensitive criteria. Now in Excel Magic Trick 1248, we want to add and count with case sensitive and contains or partial text criteria. So here's our situation for counting. I need to search for little Mr. Excel, all lowercase, within each one of these. Notice I find a match here, but I also want to find a match here where the little Mr. Excel is contained within the larger text string. The other way to think about this is that's the criteria, and I want to match any partial text within this larger text string. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the find function. Now, the find function, if you read this, returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. Now, that's different than the search function. Search function does exactly the same thing, but it's not case sensitive. So tab, we're going to tell find, find little Mr. Excel, comma, within, boom. It's expecting a single item in this within text argument, but I'm going to give it the whole column. That is 11 items. That is called a function argument array operation. As soon as I put 11 items into that argument, find is instructed to spit out 11 answers. So when I close parentheses and hit the F9 key to evaluate, sure enough, we can see Mr. Excel little letters is not found in the first one. So we get a value error. Little Mr. Excel is found at the very first character. That's why it reports 1. And little Mr. Excel is found at 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth character within that larger text string. Now that array right there, we're only interested in is it a number that says it's a match, the values we don't want? So Control-Zn will use is number. Is number is also expecting only a single item. We're giving it find, which is spitting out 11 items. So is number sees 11 items. So when I hit the F9 key, of course, it spits out 11 answers. True, true. So there's only two little Mr. Excels. And I need to convert all these to zeros and ones, so control Z. And I'm going to do that with the math operation double negative. Now if I F9, you can see I have zeros and ones. Now all I need to do is add the two ones to get the count of two. Control Z, I'm going to use not the sum function. If I were to use the sum function, I'd have to use the special keystroke Control Shift Enter to tell sum to calculate this array operation. So instead, I'm going to use sum product. The array argument in sum product can handle array operations without any special keystroke. So now when I Control Enter and double click F2, I think I forgot to lock this. Watch this. I'm going to click on that screen tip, F4 to lock it. Now I can Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2, and sure enough, I got all of the cell references right. And it is working. There are four little Excel is fun. So it looks like one, two, three, four, while skipping over the big capitalized Excel is fun. Now we need to not count, so I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. Now we need to add all of the sales. F2, I simply need to use that and add a second array. So I'm going to add all of the numbers here, F4, comma. Now I have array 1, which gives me 1's and zeros, and array 2, which has all of the numbers. Anytime it sees a 1 here, it'll pick out the number. That's the product part, right? Multiplying array 1 times array 2, and then the sum part will add. Control Enter, Control Shift 4 to add currency. Alt 1, 1, because I have my quat up here set decrease decimal as the first item in the quick access toolbar. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2, to make sure that our cell references are working. And there we go. 
there is a formula for adding with case sensitive contains or partial text criteria. And there is a formula for counting with case sensitive contains or partial text criteria. All right, we'll see you next video.